It has been more than five months since Jeffrey Epstein was found dead in his jail cell here in New York, and still many questions left unanswered. Famed pathologist Dr. Michael Bodden, who was hired by Epstein's family to look into the autopsy, is revealing new details from the investigation and the examination, and he joins us live. Dr. Bodden, good morning to you. You say that uh, the answer to whether or not he killed himself could be in his eyes. Explain well, that. Th that. That helps. Th that is, with, with hanging, when the loop comes up under the, the windpipe, uh, under the mandible, uh, there usually is not any kind of hemorrhages in the eye. With homicidal strangulation, uh, because of the increased pressure, there are hemorrhages in the eye. And when you examined the body, there were burst capillaries. There were burst capillaries in the eyes called petechiae, and th that's not conclusive, but that's uh, greater evidence of homicide than, than suicide. When you hang yourself, uh, what about the, your lower extremities? When you hang yourself, the blood, uh, the lividity, the blood settles down to the lower legs, the retina, and you get a maroon discoloration in the front and back of the legs. Turns purple. Turns maroonish purple, okay. yes. Maroonish uh, purple. And, and, and this was not present here. What color were they? They were normal color, no, normal pale color of the skin. You know, people listening to this, they go, see, I told you, somebody went in there and killed him. Well, that, that, that's possible. If, if all you need is one, you don't need a whole lot of people, one bad guy, one, uh, uh, say, that's why they have to deal with the guards. One guard gives him the key, he opens up his cell, opens up that cell, and nobody knows it because nobody's making rounds. And how convenient uh, none of that video exists. That's the problem. That is kind of a problem. You are, you're troubled by the fact that the medical examiner said, oh, look, it's suicide over and done. Before. And, and, now, and now the investigation really isn't going anywhere. That's right. The investigation is going for security purposes. The bar has made, but not for cause of death, you see. Why does that trouble you? Is it's because that uh, it's five months now and we don't even know the position of the bodies when it was found by the guard. So was he hanging up? Was he on the ground? Was he a noose around the neck? So they're not even looking into whether he was murdered. They're just looking into what, what rules the guards broke? Yeah, what the security of the guards and why the cameras weren't working and how, uh, how they have to improve their security uh, measures. Well, what about the fact that uh, the EMTs were called and what do they do? Rather than do the chalk outline around him, they carted him off the, to the hospital, which never happens, and they didn't take any pictures. It, it shouldn't, uh, the EMTs are not supposed to move a dead body. He was clearly dead when they got there. They should, and we still don't have the results of the EMTs. What forms, how do they find the body? The, we don't have any, evident, any information about how the bodies were found, the EMT, or, or what happened in the hospital mm -hmm. when he got to the hospital. That's where he was pronounced dead. When you look at the facts, you know, people looking in, you're a scientist, you wouldn't say it, but a lot of people say, look, he was whacked. <laughs> I think that's one of the issues that has to be addressed. It was a very convenient death for a lot of people, and a lot of things went wrong that could have permitted a, uh, a homicide. Well, let's see what they turn up in the investigation. Uh, th yes, and uh, you don't you don't sound very optimistic. No, I think this is a poor way to investigate a de any death case. You can't close it out you know, within five days. The case was closed out yeah. by the medical examiner's office. Well, uh, you will keep us posted, Dr. Michael Botton. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have reached out to the medical examiner's office for comment on Dr. Botton's latest observations. We are waiting to hear back. They haven't called us up. Please call us back. All right. Meanwhile, thank you, Dr. Bond. Thank you.